Hello, my name's Jason Kennedy and I'm from The Ear online, theear.net. I'm here today to tell you about the um, Riga Saturn CD player. This is the Saturn Mark III, which is essentially a facelift of the Saturn R that preceded it. It's the same basic box with the same uh, top loading lid but the fascia has been restyled to match the current range of Riga products. It's a really good CD player, but it's also DAC with um, separate digital inputs on the back for um, USB, coaxial and optical uh, connections to external sources like um, well, in the case of the USB input, that's uh, really useful for streamers. The Saturn, as you can see, also has a surprising amount of digital outputs on it. It's got coaxial and optical for both the transport and the DAC, which is slightly mystifying because everything that comes out of the transport should also come out of the DAC output, but I guess you could have a why do you want the separate input? I don't know, but um, anyway, it's there if you want it. And it's nice to have a direct connection to the transport. It presumably avoids some degree of processing in the, um, in the DAC stage. The, uh, the Saturn now costs um, £2,000, which is a bit more than the Saturn R it replaced, but uh, Everything in the hi-fi world and beyond, of course, has become more expensive in this uh, post-pandemic inflation-ridden world. Nonetheless, it remains really good value. It's um, solidly built with a steel case um, and aluminium side panels, I believe. And it's um, got a lifetime warranty. Uh, only the transport mechanism is limited in that respect. That's limited to five years. But importantly, Riga keep a stock of um, transport mechanisms, drive mechanisms, um, so that they can repair their CD players even when they're out of warranty. This, I really like the top loading sort of nature of this player. It, um, you can just open it up whenever, you know, if it's spinning around, you can still open it up and it'll stop and you can, can take the disc out. There's no need to um, remove a puck as there used to be with uh, some sort of top loading or drawers, draw, what were they called? Name used to make a, a player with a sort of slide out drawer that had a puck on it. And uh, in the past, I believe even rocks out of had a top loader with a puck, but that's just one less thing to have to worry about or think, forget to put on. Of course, the main benefit of the top loader is that it's one less thing to go wrong. Disc drawers do tend to be a sort of a weakness on CD players. I mean, the drive mechanism is probably the greatest weakness of CD players and is usually the thing that goes wrong. But not having to have a electronically operated or mechanically operated disc drawer means that's one less thing to um, have an issue with in the long term. As well as the controls on the front of the player which are limited to sort of basic transport controls there's a um, sort of full function, full fat remote control which can be used for a range of Riga components hence the sort of volume control and input selection for amplifiers. But this one usually has uh, track access keys and um, shuffle, repeat and display dimming keys. Also very useful is if you switch between the CD player and the DAC, you can use these buttons to change the filter on the DAC or the input for that matter. So uh, that's quite handy. On the sound quality front, I'm not Really, I don't really play CD hardly ever these days. I stream the vast majority of my digital music. I play a lot of vinyl, um, 
but I do tend to prefer the sound of streamers. But this, the Saturn Mark III, much like its predecessor, the Saturn R, which was the same player with a different front on it, is an extraordinarily compelling um, CD player. You really, it's really hard to turn off. It's um, just just gets right to the heart of the music. It really delivers the musical message, both sort of dynamically, and emotionally, uh, and in terms of rhythm and pace. It really has a fantastic sense of timing, which is quite rare with CD players. Most CD players are a little bit humdrum, especially when you compare them with a half-decent turntable. And I think Riga's um, background, you know, they've been making turntables themselves since the early 70s, that background has allowed them to realise what really matters about the sound of any source component. And they've gone down that route of trying to make a CD player that sounds as good as a turntable in its ability to, to, to deliver the musical message. That's what this is all about, really. It's not about mm, lovely treble or, you know, room-shaking bass. I mean, it's good in those respects. It's not extremely refined. Its treble isn't as sort of sweet as you get with, say, a Marantz or, um, you know, any of the sort of higher-end brands of CD players. But it gets right to the, to the sort of message, to the sort of core of the music. It sort of delivers uh, the most important parts of the music and makes you want to listen, which is ultimately why we all, you know, got into this hobby in the first place. So it's a good thing. It delivers plenty of detail, you know, there's uh, lots of low level sound, lots of low level uh, sort of elements of the music like um, you know reverb and uh, imaging and it's, you get plenty of scale off a good recording you get reasonable depth not you know world beating image depth but it's pretty good you know it's good enough and the timing is fantastic you know, the, that is the key to what makes this player so good really it's just gets the timing bang on and as a result everything else sort of falls in behind that and um, makes makes the music make sense you know it's really exciting um, with the right music I mean it's calm with calm music it's exciting with uh, you know driving music but ultimately it gets the timing so right that whatever the music's doing it's up to speed with it you know there's no sense of blurring which is a common problem with cd players i find and streaming systems for that matter it's not uh, exclusive to disc systems i also use the um dac side of it with an external streamer i used a neuralic aries streamer and connected it by usb and got some pretty good results really good results in terms of imaging and fluidity the music really sort of flows nicely it also times well if you pick the right filter i uh discovered with the, the, the filter system there's five filter settings um but what they do differs uh with the resolution or the bit depth and uh, sample rate of the incoming file so while uh, filter two worked best for me with for um standard sort of cd res filter. and that for me gave the best timing to be honest that was the one that really grabbed me with high res files i found that uh, filter three which is a linear phase brick wall filter gave the most natural and uh convincing results so it's worth experimenting with this uh, with the filter settings and the fact that you can do it with the remote on the fly makes it very easy and there's no reason not to. In both cases the the stream result gave a more a smoother 
slightly more relaxed, slightly sweeter, but not necessarily any more compelling result. It was, it's really good. Um, and I was using it quite a lot in that mode. But if the disc was available, I, I found the disc was that little bit more engaging, which is um, it's a rare thing for me to say. This is really, I mean, even at its new sort of £2,000 price point, this represents excellent value. Um, it's a well-built, reliable and backed up by uh, Riga's enviable reputation for servicing um, old products. It also represents the least expensive CD player that the company now makes. They've had to um, stop making the smaller Apollo model because they haven't got enough uh, mechanisms to make the, this, the Apollo and the two Isis models. Um, so they're focusing on the higher quality models that, that they're in the range. But at the end of the day, this is, if I had to play CD all day long, this is the player I choose. If you'd like to read more about this product, um, there's a review on the ear.net with a link below. Thank you.